can this 49ers defense at least slow him down and how? I believe they can. And it's because of their ability to force pressure up front with just four guys. I'm a big proponent of that. I know a lot of people are talking about, well, are you watching Patrick Mahomes? Yes, but in a defensive meeting room, in a week leading up to when you're playing a dynamic player, if you can get four guys around the quarterback, that affects them. I don't care who it is. The greatest ones to ever play this game, under pressure, uncomfortable, they're not the same guy. And, and this, too, San Francisco – is the number one blitz team as far as creating pressure and getting sacks in the NFL. This is the plan. Like, we, we, we are going to break this game down a hundred ways before we get to the Super Bowl. Yeah. The absolute plan is you four guys earn these positions in where we drafted you and go figure out how to get around this guy and affect him in a positive way to help our guys on the back end. But, you know, but the San Francisco 49ers are going to have to change the way they do things and self-scout. You know, four just isn't enough. They got to mix it up because they play zone 64% of the time. If you do that against Mahomes and gives them the time in those passing lanes, you know, Dan, you understand when you have four guys, you still have two open um, lanes that you can throw through or run through. Mm -hmm. They're going to have to come with some line stunts, distort his vision, make him buy time, get outside of the pocket, and try and set some traps. And you're going to have to do something that's uncharacteristic from for you, you're going to have to make sure that you try and light him up and blitz him and sometimes bring five. And I know what you're saying. You know, he's a smart enough quarterback that can find the hot route and it's hard, he's hard to confuse. But you can't allow him to run around and get outside of that pocket. you got to set edges. Well, he, here's the way I would ask the question to you, Dan Orlovsky. As you break down quarterback play, I know you've been sitting there and just studying the film of Patrick Mahomes nonstop. Dominique Foxworth said an interesting thing on the show last week. The kid's been in the league two seasons plus. He's never had a bad game. He yeah. hasn't played a bad game. So what constitutes containing him? What constitutes putting up a good enough defensive effort against him and them that your team has a chance to win? It's four plays. It's those four plays that he has a game where he eludes pressure or moves in the pocket, and then those four plays equal 100-plus yards. It's the chunk that he gets off of, and it's not necessarily – like when you get him in the back of the pocket and it's going to be a five- or six-yard loss, Patrick Mahomes doesn't turn it into a one- or two-yard gain. He turns it into a 30- or 40-yard gain, and that's what San Francisco needs to be really wary of. That would, to me, that, that would be like the, the bad game for Patrick Mahomes if he doesn't have those four kind of back-breaking – game-changing plays where as a defense you sit there and go, man, we just called the perfect play. And our guys executed it perfectly. And we got there, but we didn't. And Mahomes turned it into this massive 40-yard game. That will be the one thing that will determine, will go a long way in determining if San Francisco does a great job defensively or not. The interesting thing for me with this game, when it comes, this is his greatest challenge. This, in his short two-year career, is the greatest challenge. It's, it's more – this is more difficult than the New England game last year because, to Marcus's point, the front four. I need people to understand, like, when you can rush a quarterback with front four, the biggest thing is that forces me to get the ball out of my hands sooner than I want to. And while you're doing that and I have to get the ball out, I have seven sets of eyes on me, seven sets of eyes on the ball. And so the ball is going to be in harm's way more often than not. That's why it's his greatest challenge to perform. If you look at every one of those plays, there were no edges set. Right, so if you're if you're a pass rush, you have to be disciplined I in your pass you rush. You have to be able to retrace. So if you get why? too far up the field, you got to retrace. Three man rush, okay? Don't do that, <laughs> and and they're, they're not. But to to get, we look at. I go back to the Denver Broncos playing against Marcus and. That's, yeah. that's the game plan. That's the game plan San Fran needs to go in with. Now, it, it doesn't matter that uh, the, that Peyton wasn't mo – I mean, that uh, Cam was trying to operate from the pocket. Cam was the threat to run the football. Right. And that's what you have to be concerned with about Pat Mahomes, the extension of plays. If he beats you just standing in the pocket comfortable, you didn't do a good enough job rushing. But you can't allow him, to Dan's point, to make those dynamic plays. That's the example that we're talking about. It was Cam Newton as the MVP of the Absolutely. league. Absolutely. 15-1 Carolina team that ran into a defense led by Von Miller and those guys in Denver, and they dominated right. the game. Can this San Francisco team do the same? Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports, more analysis, download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. We'll see you there.